And today's recipe is stupid simple watermelon salad. By the way. We're gonna make an awesome watermelon salad. This stuff is really good. You guys. I love watermelon. And and you know everybody loves watermelon. Who doesn't like watermelon? It's Memorial Day. And that's a small. That's a small melon you got there, hey, sir. Hey, dude, come on, man. Is that enough? We're on the radio. Really? Is that enough? Oh, it will be. It will be. If not, don't worry. I carry an I extra. I can see you watermelon. walking into Meyer and you know turning to a woman. Is this, is this a, does this feel great to you? Is this right? No, no. It's, you, it's usually Daryl, the produce manager, like, dude, where's your... Oh, they're right there. Okay, great. But I'm really concentrating on six limes. These are like baby limes? But these are, you know, they're nice. They're, uh, I think they're Persian limes, and um, they're good. I've got a bunch of, uh, uh, literally a physical bunch of cilantro, and I've got a bunch of uh, spring onion. I've got my salt and pepper and my olive oil. So, seriously... Two bucks, five fifty. I got eight bucks here. Okay. I got eight bucks here, probably going out. How many out. people is this going to feed? Um, easily eight to ten people. No kidding. Well, look. So you know what we're going to do is, is we're going to cut this watermelon right down the center. All now, right. You know what? I usually cut it the other way. I well, cut it you know what? Um, cut it well, 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 that's nice, top, but bottom. but you're wrong, Tony. Okay, why you're, is that? No. <laughs> no it, doesn't yeah, you're wrong. it doesn't matter at all. But I'm going to do some cool presentation with this. Okay. And um, so what we've got a half of a watermelon, uh, flesh side up, and now I'm gonna, you can do eight, you know, wedge it eight times. I'm gonna do six, because I'm just that good at cutting. And so we've got three really cool, delicious, juicy, seedless watermelon, beautiful wedges. wedges. Nice. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna go down the center. Yeah. And we're basically cutting to the rind, okay? Yeah. And now it's almost like we're filleting a fish. You could totally do See, yeah. did you notice my fillet knife right here? Yeah. yeah, you can and do you that. Just follow the shape of the rind, and then it's already cut it, it's, and ready to go. But it gets better. Okay. Look at this. Okay, this is this is why the chicks dig me right here. And you can see this you, video at, uh, at, our, at our website. Yeah, and you go back and forth like that. Oh, look at you. And isn't that pretty? That looks like piano keys. Does it? Down. Yeah, I exactly. Like that. That's stupid simple. It's stupid simple. So then all I'm doing is, is I'm slicing like really thin rings here with the... Uh, that's um, the top of the onion. Do we eat that? That's the best part of the is onion. It? You know what? That's so funny. People, people throw that stuff away. I know. It's not right. And what you want to do is, is you want to start at the top part, trim off, you know, the, you know, you always have, just trim off the top a little bit and then work your way down. And then the green part or the white part is the most pungent, but the green is all pretty, and that's why they call it spring onion because it tastes so fresh. Yeah. Now I've got cilantro, and now I'm just cilantro. I'm just gonna give this a nice rough chop here. Okay, no big deal. We got Luke Jun Junkins uh, watching us. Luke used to work with me, and his girlfriend cuts my hair, Heidi Christine's. Saw me at Meyer. So he's a big <laughs> fan of the Tony Beach show. Local first, I love it. Now I don't usually see people put salt and pepper on melon. You know what? I'm just that nutty man. You are. You're Some wet. salt and pepper. Yeah. Now we've got to get, we've got the salt and pepper. We got that deliciousness. We got some juicy limes going over there. So you got the sweet onions, you got cilantro, you got the citrus, which is the, oh, the melon, and now you got juicy limes. Exactly. And then we'll drizzle with some uh, fresh olive oil. With your fingers? You can eat it totally with your fingers, or people can dish it up and whatnot, but fingers is better. You can even get a little creative and you know, get like some American flag toothpicks and stick them in each one if you want more hors d'oeuvre or whatnot. <laughs> and that's it? That's the salad? Is that as stupid simple as... I don't know. Is that, Look I mean, how I, pretty I, that I'm is. I'm not used to picking a melon with like leafy stuff on it. So the cilantro, Try. What, what is the... What, I don't know when... You should put out a little guide as to what do you put on fish? When do I use rosemary? When in, when do I use cilantro? That when do I use a, sage? Yes, yes, yes. I don't yes. know when to use these you know things. What? My grandma Antonini, she was awesome. She gave me a lesson like nobody's business. And oh my God. I'm going to share, share it with you. That totally changes the taste of the watermelon, but in a good way. And it's juicy and it's yummy and it's awesome. She made me eat raw every single fresh herb.